has to take that job. It makes sense. He started eight games last year. Brock Osweiler is in there somewhere, though, with Deshaun Kaiser, right? Yeah, he is in there somewhere right now, though. Certainly when they traded for him, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that they would just dangle his name and then eventually release him. Doesn't sound like that's happening at all. Well, let's sort of start from the beginning here on Cody Kessler. This really, from my understanding, has been in the Browns' plans for some time. He played a lot better last year than many people give him credit for. They really like him, and he has known and he has believed that, that this would be a possibility that coming in as the starter would be something that maybe if they didn't, you know, barring them possibly trading up for a quarterback in the first round, which, again, uh, was the public made a lot more of that than the actual team did. It really was not much of a possibility there. So Cody Kessler coming in as a starter was always something in their minds they like him. As far as Brock Osweiler, he's done the right things. He's listened. He's been diligent. Seems like he is on the right track. Why would you not give him a shot? And then, of course, there's Kaiser, who has a lot to learn, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if he ends up being the three early on now just because he has so much to learn as far as being in a pro system. So we're going to spend a lot of time, Andrew, talking about the Browns quarterback position because it is very, very.